Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Um, I don't know why I haven't done a video on this for such a long time. You want to tweak is awesome. It's awesome for those guys who are, you know, using Windows and trying to jump, uh, trying to at least try Linux or Ubuntu. This can save for them a lot of time and they can actually like Linux. Why? Because this can save them from, you know, visiting. Uh, you know typing all the commands in terminal window or maybe trying to install from synaptic manager and from some other you know weird areas one application in fact even the Ubuntu uh, software center um, is not complete and um, this application is complete it can do all that stuff in one application uh, it can it can uh, tweak the systems which you would do that by you know visiting gconf you know like gnome configuration editor uh, and uh, first let's just move on to the windows manager settings and if you just want to you know have the buttons to your right if you're using metacity and if you want to switch the buttons the close minimize maximize to the right and if you want to rearrange it you can do that over here by clicking on custom and moving the buttons over here and there and um, yeah do that first if you like the buttons on the right but if you were using some emerald theme this doesn't matter anyways um, this windows title bar actions roll up even this is for metacity not for compass for compass install ccsm and go check the settings over there um, <coughs> let's go on with the application center this is just like uh, the update manager no this is more like uh, the ubuntu software center right you search for the application over here, okay, there's no search, no search button, but you can just you know browse the applications, browse the categories, and install the applications you want. These are stable; these are not unstable, so you don't have to worry about this uh, section. You can just choose and install whatever you want. There are different categories. Okay, you want to restricted extras? Those are the, um, those are the restricted packages, mostly the add-ons, and here um, are the themes. Yeah, those who Ubuntu restricted packages are actually the correct packs, more like a correct pack, you know, with all the corrects, proprietary corrects. And here are the themes. Oops, um, sorry. Um, so here there are other applications. This is like WinZip or WinRare. It can help you uncompress un or compress the archives package cleaner. It will help you clean unwanted packages and also unused packages configurations and these are the unused kernels you can do that here I've got uh, configuration files you know unused configuration files these are the DB files that I recently downloaded now this software center is actually a center where you'll have you know software center where you'll have the third party applications also you know Applications from the third-party sources. So it could be uh, stable. It could be unstable. So if you want to try some unstable applications, you could do this. But you have to try this at your own risk because sometimes the applications tend to be unstable and they crash. Uh, for me, Docky seems to crash from the unstable repository. So there are many applications over here. Many from the you know some are stable. Obviously, they are third-party. Uh, you know third the applications from the third party sources so you can check and install the one you want like I saw showed you there is Skype and uh, many you know Medibuntu repository which will get you again external uh, proprietary codecs right and uh, some other players too sources source editor is uh, it's just an editor where you can remove unwanted um, PPAs you know sources and you can modify it or you can just leave it like that and it's more like it's, uh, it's not that important anyways you can unlock there and do the changes if you know what you're doing this is more like update manager just like update manager it will show you all the packages that can be updated and if you click on update it will click on install update it will install the updated packages and I don't know why I clicked on refresh because it took a while you know to load the repository and go back to the application um, 
well the main reason why I made this video is for the new users this could be really you know useful for them and it could be less hassle for them you know rather than going launching terminal window going synaptic manager and doing typing all those commands uh, yeah that could be not so cool for newbies so this could be really handy for those new users and then you can uh, what else uh, this this compass settings to over here which uh, it's better for you to check the CCSM and uh, you know modify the settings over there than over here because I didn't really find it that important so auto start programs all the applications that uh, will start automatically you can change it you can add the applications you want you can remove it session control uh, you can suppress the dialog to confirm logout restart and shutdown like I said compass settings in Ubuntu tweak wasn't is not that cool so I recommend you to check compass config settings manager again yeah what else desktop icons you can show or hide the desktop icons and also show or hide the mounted volumes on desk desktop desktop why do I say desktop all the time it's desktop okay um gnome settings I really didn't check this much except show icons in menus and show icons and buttons so if you want the old feel you want to eight you want to eight feel having the icons in the menus next to the application name uh, check that I've already done this so skip that default folder locations you can change the default folder locations like for pictures and videos and blah 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 scripts you can check got latest videos is done awesome video on the scripts you can you know drag the scripts in that folder you know right click on the desktop I showed you just that uh, shortcut commands and also advanced power management settings not not really for me computer details file type manager okay this is good you can um, change the file association to different player different viewer you can add and remove files you want Nautilus settings you can ah yeah, this is cool Nautilus extension try installing all those three extensions extensions open folder with root privileges folder in terminal and Nautilus with wallpaper security related um, security related what's this disabling run application I don't think it's really a good option to do that uh, rest of the options okay that's not much cool fix the appearance of themes okay so if you have got this uh, weird bug not a bug if you have got uh, when you try launching Nautilus uh, with root privileges if you get some different theme all you have to do is uh, copy the dot icon and dot themes folder to the root from your home folder to the root folder or you can just create a symbolic link more like a shortcut you can create a link of those two folders and copy it and paste it to the root folder that's it um, I'm actually recording audio on Windows so so hope you can understand why I was in desync in most of the video yeah so I hope uh, this was helpful um, yeah gotta go run I gotta run